Typhoon Ophel struck the disaster-weary northern Philippines on Thursday, compelling authorities to evacuate thousands from vulnerable coastal zones. The storm made landfall in Bagao, Cagayan province at 5.30 a.m. GMT, bringing sustained winds of 175 km per hour, 109 miles per hour, according to Pagasa, marking the fifth storm to hit the region in just three weeks. This relentless succession of storms has already claimed 159 lives, prompting the United Nations to appeal for $32.9 million in aid for the hardest hit areas. Initially, Pagasa issued its highest storm alert, but later downgraded it as Typhoon Usagi made landfall. Forecasters warned that the typhoon's winds were strong enough to severely damage lightweight structures, cause moderate damage even to sturdier buildings, and uproot large trees in the coming 12 hours. Intense to torrential rainfall and potentially life-threatening coastal waves reaching up to three meters, nine feet high, were forecasted for the next two days. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. visited affected areas, distributing emergency cash assistance and urging residents to heed evacuation orders. While it's hard to leave homes and possessions behind, evacuating can save lives, he told residents on Mindoro Island, stressing the need for improved infrastructure to mitigate the impacts of climate change-induced storms. Early Thursday, Pagasa issued a storm surge warning for six provinces in northern Luzon, cautioning that surges between 1.0 and 3.0 meters could occur within the next 48 hours. Pagasa recommended residents in low-lying coastal areas avoid the coast, halt all marine activities, and stay updated with weather advisories. Totally damaged. 
pa, pati ada yung uray pa higayon da dito yung halong lakot na kwa, natumbadan. Ofal weakened to a typhoon after hitting Bagao, with its center near the coastal waters as of Thursday afternoon, moving west-northwest at 20 km per hour, 12 miles per hour, carrying winds of 175 km per hour near the center and gusts reaching 240 km per hour. In Cagayan, local officials conducted evacuations despite driving rain, with 1,404 residents sheltering in a municipal gym. Pati yelo si Yun ay yung pirate We initially conducted preemptive evacuations but now forced evacuations are underway reported disaster official Edward Gaspar He anticipated an eventual evacuation of up to 40,000 people similar to the response for Typhoon Yingxing earlier in the month. Cagayan's main waterway, the Cagayan River, remained dangerously high, with over 5,000 residents still in shelters from previous storms. This situation is likely to continue as Usagi brings further rainfall, said Rueli Rapsing, the province's civil defense chief.